to finding calm in the chaos. I am Denise Sip, and this is my podcast. Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Thursday. Surprise. The co- the podcast that brings you the reality of life that Mr. Sith worked late and he couldn't put the video together or the audio editing. So I just redid it um, because stuff happened. And now it's like super current because <laughs> it's Wednesday night and I got a new one. I got new stuff on. This is even better. Um, I... Am welcome, by the way, to Finding Calm in the Chaos. I am Denise Sith, and most likely during my podcast, you will hear my dogs fighting. There you go. We don't even care anymore. Um, so I the name of this episode is Silencer because um for those of you who haven't listened before, this is your first time listener. I've been on this journey of just some self-awareness, self-discovery, self-healing. And one of the things um, that I used to do all the time that is extremely unhealthy is go into extreme rage moments. Like I would, fl- I could make people, I could cut you down and make you cry just by my words. And hits just from growing up in a dysfunctional family when words do whatever. There, Buster says hi to everybody. How about that? Okay, so I was just I was just talking about how um, telling Peter that uh, I literally got through uh, one minute and thirty two seconds of this video before I had to pause it uh, or this audio before I had to pause it to let a dog out or do shit. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, yes, I can swear because I have decided I'm not using sponsors as I've mentioned before for November and December because I'm not really liking who they're telling me. I don't agree with that. <laughs> the corporations or I don't agree with the products and so I'm not just gonna sponsor anybody so I've decided for the holidays my gift to you is um no sponsors just me rambling straight through (laughs) anyway the name of this episode is silencer and I think sometimes I I mean you I think sometimes in situations you need to address things and sometimes you need to address it firmly but with kindness. And I also think that sometimes um, there are situations where you need to address and tell the person what the fuck is up because it's just a situation that is dangerous or is just completely idiotic or could have put people at risk and you need to be told. I'll never understand the mentality behind people and I guess I don't want to at this point um, in my life. I'll never understand how people will do things and not understand how their actions affect other people. And then their complete disregard of their actions affecting other people is just, um, well, it's a bullshit. And I'm pretty much over it. Um, 54 years, this is where you get. You're all it, right? Gen X, don't give a fuck here I am, take it or leave it, fuck around and find out generation. I'm just done. I'm done with the world and everybody just being jerks. Anyway, so now I'm going to have Peter um, wave me down. Did you finish dinner? Yes. Okay, say hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. So I don't know if he'll show up, but there you go. There's a little little thing from Peter there. Yes, so you know I I don't think they can hear you from over there. So anyway, I got to keep talking. So we're going to just move along here and Peter can go watch the show that I have up for him to watch in the literal 12, literal 20 minutes. I've asked him to leave me alone that that couldn't happen as well. And I'm sure that within the next two minutes, the dog will want to come back inside. So just say, um, if you know, you know, moms. So <clears throat> silencer, um, I, and so I'm going to talk about it again, guys, because it's still an issue for some fucking reason. This will not go away out of my life right now. But I left our Wednesdays co-op because um, it was making me sick. Okay. Um, you know, if it smells like a mold and it looks like mold and um, it, it 
and I'm feeling like it's mold. It's fucking mold. Um, but I've, I've got some information since then. I've had people reach out to me from the prior co-op that was there uh, telling me that over the summer, the, the, the church that we're in has had flooded out and it was horrible. And um, it, there was visible mold and visible just sewage and, you know, because they were there in helping remove the co-op at the time stuff from a closet that got flooded on the level that was flooded out down in the basement. So um, she apologized and she was like, if I had known that you had been at the new co-op or that number one, you were number two, you were teaching, I certainly would have called you and told you, I'm so sorry. Um, she had saw one of the posts I made on social media about mold um, exposure and she immediately knew. She knows I'm in other co-ops, but she immediately knew because she knew it was there. Now, that's just the mom, right? Uh, the reason, the whole reason behind this second co-op coming in on Wednesday, taking kind of over what the old co-op dissolved because they put all their kids into private school. But there was an issue with that leadership having a lack of transparency. And one of the things that this co-op leadership um, bitched about essentially was that they could put together a co-op that was way better than that and they've done an excellent job but one of the biggest things they bitched about was the lack of transparency and yet here we are them doing the exact same thing but at a level to me that is way more dangerous than the first co-op could even do <laughs> i mean it's like i don't understand anymore and so there isn't any allegedly it's whatever it's just i'm not naming anybody i'm not naming the church i'm not going to tell anybody so if you you know send me a message and you're local and you want to know i'm not going to tell you okay it is what it is so what i will tell you is that i can openly talk about the facts that pertain to me okay because this is i i unfortunately believe i have to elevate this little Normally, I was actually going to go to the church today to drop off some of the equipment for the kiddos uh, because the classes were dropped, right? I dropped out of the co-op uh, due to the mold exposure, the complete smell, uh, the septic system backing up. It's just an unhealthy building to be in. When you walk in, you instantly feel this stagnant air and stench. So um, I didn't go. Uh, I was just not feeling it and I was super busy today and I just I wasn't gonna go uh, I'm glad I didn't because I had a parent multiple parents again reach out to me stating that they said they were gonna test for mold today and I thought oh okay so they're gonna cancel co-op and they're like oh no they're having co-op and I'm like wait a minute you can't have like a mold me like you can't have the mold guy go in there and do all his testing while people are there that seems like a little I don't know absurd uh, right I mean would you want to be in a building that was being tested for mold in front of your eyes and then bring all your kids as well? It just seems so insane to me. That said, the original email that I sent out two weeks ago today has yet to be answered by the board at this co-op. Not only did they feel it wasn't necessary to answer any of my concerns or at least be like, sorry, this happened to you. Like, we wish you luck and sorry, you're leaving the co-op. Um, not only did they like dismiss me as a parent, they dismissed me as a teacher. And I'm going to go out on a limb here saying that I've had pretty much every parent come to me saying their kid loved my class. And they posted that they were looking for a cooking teacher, which is interesting because if you have a suspect of mold in your facility and you have no access to refrigeration or anything, I think that maybe you would probably want to put a full like disclosure that whoever is going to be cooking this class is either going to be cooking out of a microwave like some basic shit or that they're going to have to bring everything including your own refrigeration i don't care that they're looking for another teacher it was just the complete dismissal it, to me it's disappointing that that they can do that but also there's that smart denise and that little wise ass cracker denise and that tough-ass Chicago girl, Denise, deep inside, who's like, you know what? I'm smelling something fucking funny here. I'm smelling that they're going to fucking wind up saying that, you know, my lupus or she's sick or whatever. Um, it's, it's, I'm making shit up. And I just like didn't want to do it anymore. 
which I didn't. And I actually had parents reach out to me stating that I could cook in their home with the class. And I was like, that means everything to me, but I'm really in a detox right now, so I can't do that. And I need to like get all of this out of my system first, right? And so it it's so boggling to me. So I was just gonna dismiss it and let it go, right? So I was just like, put the guns away, Denise, not worth freaking about, about just, just let it go. Then the moms kept calling. And all the information coming in that, you know, they want moms to go downstairs and smell the rooms. And they and I'm like, wait, f- what? What the fuck is that about? Could you imagine being at your kid's school and somebody suspected mold and they asked you to come in and fucking smell it? I can't right now. Like, you can't even make this shit up, guys. All right. Then um, I found out that the mold remediator was coming, right? Well, not. So apparently it's the handyman friend of one of the board members. And here's me immediately. Why the fuck would you have your friend come in as a handyman if they're not an actual mold person, right? Who does this for a living with all of the proper tools and machinery for the testing and basically open yourself up for fucking liability. That just, that just blew my mind. There's a risk manager talking, right? Like, wait, what the fuck? That's on the church. That's not on you. That's on the fucking church. Why would you do that? You just opened a whole fucking can of liability. To me, that is the most insane and ludicrous thing anybody could ever fucking do. Now, wait for me. Wait for it. The mold guy apparently just looked around the building, pulled back some carpeting and said he couldn't quote unquote, see any mold. I got nothing, guys. I got nothing. Because here's my situation. How does somebody as a fucking human being, how does somebody as a mom, and I don't mean anything against regular moms, public school moms, you know, any kind of Christian-based schools, academy schools, whatever, okay, big block schools, a homeschool mom, We tend to glean a little bit more holistic, but to have homeschool moms dismiss this like it's fucking nothing is so just outrageous to me. It's infuriating. And that's when I'm like, you know, sometimes maybe you could just bring out the smaller guns and not the great big guns, just put a silencer on it and come in like quiet with the shit. Because this to me is mind blowing. I'm sorry, but I'm, I, I've not heard from my original email. So I'm chatting with you guys like this is a coffee talk, but it also, there is a lesson in here because if I go to that church, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to fucking trigger snap and throat punch somebody. Because to me, this is wildly flagrant disregard for people's health. It's just flagrant disregard. And for me, the only way somebody could have that kind of flagrant disregard over the health of children and people who are autoimmune compromised is greed. Greed or pride. And both of those are unacceptable. So I opted to to forego the throat punch. (laughs) Pat myself on the back. But I have agreed that I'm going to take out the silencer and I am going to start rocking the fucking boat, but it's going to be silent. And here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to send an email to the board once again and express my disappointment that after two weeks of me sending that not only had I been sick in the facility, but there was a suspected mold thing in the facility and that I had concerns. Not only did I not get an answer as a parent or a teacher, It was, they removed me from the family group and didn't say anything, like Like, fucking anything. But that now my concern is, is that I am paying out of pocket for this shit. And since you brought it upon yourself to bring some mold guy who you know, because some friend's going to fucking take a look at mold because he's a contractor or something. I'm sorry, but a contractor is not a mold remediator period 
okay? You need a professional to do that. There are tests, there are cameras, there are swabs. There's this little device that they go through the room and they fucking like can tell you what the levels of whatever are in the room. I know because I have a friend who does it and I have a friend who's done it recently for my sister's apartment. So that is a fucking no. (laughs) I'm like, wait, what? So I think what I'm, well, I don't think, I know. I'm going to send an email and I'm going to ask for the copy of the remediation reports of all of the swabs and air things and all of the stuff that they take during an actual mold exam of a house, the testing of the church facility, which obviously they don't have after after the parents report today, right? And multiple parents reports. Because I'm going to tell them that what happens is, is that now that they have actually brought somebody out to do it, they have opened up themselves for liability. So I need to know on behalf of my insurance company, right, that there I need to know what Grow has done. And then we can come after the church separately because I ain't paying for this. Maybe that will light a fucking fire under somebody's ass on how important and how dangerous the situation is. I will never understand how people will discount other people's health for ego, pride, and greed. We have an entire government who does that. We really don't fucking need homeschool co-op moms doing that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty much bullshit. And, you know, you want to know that the church does the same thing. But I know just from being through a couple churches in homeschool co-ops, they're out for the buck. They don't really give a shit. I'm going to be honest with you. It is what it is. You need to find a brand new church that is like totally into community stuff, that kind of thing, you know. Um, But these older churches, Catholic, Lutheran, sorry, not sorry, um, they don't give a shit. Our last church was perfect, but they raised our rent because they saw the money machine. They saw how many people were coming in. They actually had a K through two school there. They couldn't even get enough people to t- to run a school year. And here we are using all their rooms as a homeschool co-op once a week. And you know what? They got money hungry and we wound up leaving. So there's that. Um. So yeah, I just, I guess the lesson today is that for me at least was that you don't really have to come in guns blazing right and just firing off like a fucking rambo moment if you know you know i'm realizing there are some people who might even know who not know who fucking rambo is anyway uh if it's not rambo google it that's what it's for um but sometimes it's okay to come in locked and loaded with a silencer and let people know that you mean business because this isn't just about me. I have a bunch of confused parents contacting me because I'll be honest, I'm the only one who had the fucking balls to just pick their fucking kid up and walk out and said, nope, this is too, I don't, just the suspecting of it is a fucking no for me. But there are people there that somehow feel obligated or ashamed or for whatever reason can't say anything, perhaps it's financial, Right? Because these people have huge deposits they took from us to cover the rent and the insurance. Well, they're probably going to need the insurance now. But secondly, if there's mold detected, which I know there's mold there, if an actual mold guy goes there, an actual company that does the proper testing, it's going to test positive for mold. I would bet my life on it. I am 99.999999% sure there's fucking mold in that building. And if you like, that's on the church. So you could just go back to them and get your entire fucking deposit back for your lease that you did there and just return it to the families. But they already told a couple people that their deposits are non-refundable. The fuck they are. If it's a health exposure, you must be confused. You're just making up your own fucking rules at this point. But just because you're a homeschool co-op does not mean that you are fucking exempt from health laws in the state of Illinois or any state. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck these people. So I'm handling this like very well. And I'm so proud of myself (laughs) that I chose the silencer and not to bring out the automatic. There's that. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. Sorry, we missed you yesterday. I think we have... No, this is a non-coffee talk weekend, but I might have a random rant after I send this email. But until then, you guys have a great Thursday and always be blessed.
with kindness. <laughs>